On May 3rd, Gabriel Johnson turned 12. It has been more than 11 years since he was last seen in San Antonio. While an SAPD investigator who has been on the case has maintained that Gabriel is dead, the county where he is from in Arizona still has him listed as missing. Fox San Antonio's Yami Virgen has been investigating this story since the very start and has a shocking update tonight that has his father's family horrified. You're seeing the last known images of beautiful baby Gabriel and his attractive young mom, Elizabeth Johnson, before he disappeared in December of 2009. Not a single sign, much less a picture, of Gabriel has been seen since. The same cannot be said about Elizabeth. According to Sandy Peters, baby Gabriel's aunt, Elizabeth posted pictures last week, just hours before Gabriel's birthday, of herself very pregnant in a bikini. It was horrifying to see it. Um, not, not only because it doesn't seem right that uh, she can go on with her life and she can have be having another child, when Logan is still wondering where Gabriel is, as all of us are. In 2009, his father, Logan McQuery, told authorities Elizabeth took off from Phoenix with the baby as their relationship started to go downhill. Documents show Elizabeth texted Logan saying she had killed baby Gabriel and would tell him where his, quote, little blue body was when she left from a stop here in San Antonio. Logan claims that was not the first time he had received a message like that from her. Police found Elizabeth a few days later in Florida, but no baby Gabriel. According to court records, Elizabeth shared that she had met a couple at a park here in San Antonio to hand the baby off for adoption. A private investigator told Fox San Antonio several years ago that after looking at the evidence, including phone records we obtained, they believed that it's exactly what happened. I think that there's a lot of evidence that points toward Gabriel being alive. I really, really do. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what happened and where he is and how do we find him. A jury convicted Elizabeth of custodial interference and unlawful imprisonment. After serving her time, she moved to New Mexico. According to her Facebook page, Elizabeth is pregnant again. And reading comments on one of her posts, many believe this is her first child. And I do believe that with Gabriel, she struggled with a lot of postpartum depression. And um, I, I have no idea what her ex-husband knows about her or her past. Logan is married and has three more children. His aunt Sandy tells us Gabriel is a part of their everyday life, something she wants the 12-year-old to know if he's out there somewhere. I would want him to know that his daddy has never stopped looking and never stop loving him. Uh, he's got a place with them, and he's got two brothers and a sister who can't wait to have fun and play with them and have him be their brother. And tonight, a new nonprofit here locally has offered to look over baby Gabriel's case. That includes documents and part of the case file that Maricopa County had put together. Project Absentis is made up of former FBI agents. They hope to help the family to find some closure. Jamie Virgen, Fox News at 9.